Hello and welcome to ThingLink. As you can see, there are so many ways that you can use ThingLink to create engaging and interactive content. Many people like to use ThingLink to upload their videos to and then make them completely interactive. And you can do this with video or even 360 video. There are many benefits to doing this. For example, you can create um, your video and add in interactive hotspots. And of course, the text opens up into immersive reader, which can be translated into over 80 different languages. These tags can be placed strategically at certain points or for the entire duration of your video. Once you've created your video, you're able to embed this directly into your website, which means that people can interact with it directly in your website and in your context. Some people like to create videos and then add in the tags afterwards and present them knowing where they're going to put the tags. In this particular video, the teacher is able to point to the places where the tags are going to go. This is a really nice, playful way of creating engaging content for the audience. It just keeps their attention focused. Especially today, many people like to create presentations or use webinars. And of course, those webinar videos can then be used within ThingLink and you can add in the additional resources. Here you can see I've added in a hotspot with a call to action button. I can also add in um, my presentation that I've used as a backdrop to that particular webinar. And you can also put in call to action buttons as well. This is a really nice way of using and presenting your video. It saves you having to use popular video sharing websites. Quite often these might have adverts or may even be filtered on your company's web filtering policy. And of course, you can still get those really important statistics and metrics of how many people have viewed it. You'll even be able to see how many people have clicked on those tags. Many companies like to use ThingLink videos for their adverts and what better way to be able to embed tags that take you exactly back to the product as well. So we hope that this has given you some examples of how you can use video. There's quite a gener generous file size. You can upload videos of up to 10 gigabytes directly into your ThingLink account. And that includes video and 360 videos in an MP4 file format. So we hope this has given you some inspiration. We can't wait to see what you create.